world party over. Out of time. Ba -ba -na -da -na -na. Tonight, we're gonna party like it's 2000. The 19. <laughs> hey, what's happening? What is happening? How is everybody doing? Welcome to your vape at five. I was a little thrown off there. I was a little thrown off. I wasn't, I wasn't ready. I was not ready, which is typically when you know. Okay, let me explain. I'm your host. I'm your host. I'm Black Cat. Typically, when you do a show, the, the one great thing about having your own YouTube channel is that you can basically do a show whenever you want. Or not even a show, but you can do a video every time or any time that you desire. But, in my infinite wisdom, I created a show within the title says what time I have to go live. 5 p.m. And since I only believe in one time system, Eastern time is the only time on Earth, and that's the only time I believe in, it's a real time, then I have to go live at 5 o'clock Eastern every, every, every time I'm supposed to go live. So, I backed myself, back, <laughs> I backed myself right into a corner. I need some more coffee. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for you guys. I loved you guys. I wasn't ready. I had a crazy, had a crazy weekend, Dave Flowers. I'll tell you that right now. It was insane. I went to see my eight-year-old daughter. My eight-year-old daughter is funny. She's really funny. And I'm, I'm not just saying like little kid funny. She's like legit funny. She's got my sense of humor, which is fantastic. Anyway, I learned a couple things about my daughter this week. I learned that one, she is a fantastic swimmer. And two, she maybe wants to drown me. I think she wants to drown me. I'm pretty sure she wants to drown me because she tried three times, literally. Three times. There was one point, like, she got me in the deep end, and it was slippery, and I couldn't, like, get up the, the ramp, and she's, like, swimming, and then she, like, jumped on top of me and held me underwater. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I can't, I can't breathe. I can't breathe! I started to panic. I started to think I could use her as a flotation device, pushing myself back up to the top. That's not something a dad should probably do, but I was panicked. I did escape with my life, and here I am, I'm back, I'm back! To do the, the, the vape at five, we didn't have a show Friday. There was no vape hot tub, but I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to make this up to you. I'm me, the black cat, speaking in third person, which I hate. I, I'm going to make this up to you. I'm going to make it up to you, and I'm going to give you a vape hot tub on Friday like you have never, ever, ever seen. You guys, this vape hot tub... It is going to be so damn hot in the vape hot tub. We're going to be burning, folks. Folks are going to be on fire. Let me tell you. So the black cat will make it up to you. How is everybody doing? It's great to see everybody rolling through chat. I've got a great show for you today. Today, I am featuring Snappy Builds, a phenomenal builder, guys. You guys are going to just absolutely love this. I've been so looking forward to featuring him for a long time. Um, just an absolute pleasure to work with. You know, I kind of, I don't want to say I screwed up. But I, I didn't give full attention this weekend because typically I get everything ready this weekend. I would have had a conversation with him, but I didn't get a chance to. And I meant to talk to him today, but we didn't really connect. So I don't have a whole lot of uh, some. There's, there's typically I do like an interview process with him. So I'll probably have that tomorrow when uh, when when I when I come back on live tomorrow with the, probably Nick and I tomorrow. Nick Nick, are you in chat? I think I saw Nick in chat. Nick, you're going live with me tomorrow. Can you go live? You gonna have time? I hope so go live tomorrow i miss you i'd like to go live with you so um won't i don't have a whole lot of information but i do have uh some really fantastic builds this guy is just an absolute ace so we're gonna have a lot of fun and uh we're gonna really promote him and uh his building this week and we're going to get him out there and much as we possibly can how the heck is everybody doing i'm gonna roll through i'm gonna say hi to everyone and then we are gonna get this show on the road? On the road again? Billy Nelson, maybe? I don't know. Albin! What's up, Albin? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, sir. Super glad you are here. Al, let me tell you. Let me I'm t Al, I'm talking directly to you. I need some more coffee. I do. I feel... Uh, you know what? I, I, I take... Now, as you can probably believe, I'm in perfect, perfect health. I'm a specimen of health and wellness you can probably imagine, but I do take a little itty bitty pill. I take a little itty bitty pill in the morning for my blood pressure, to keep my blood pressure within 
Typically, the black cat. I'm gonna start talking about myself in third person a lot more because I think it's it's so funny to me that it makes me laugh. But typically, the black cat doesn't need to take any medication because he's impervious to any diseases. He's he's fantastic. He's a man, un, he's like a Superman almost. But this instance, I have to take a little blood pressure pill. Well, I've been I, as you guys all know, I have a history of falling asleep pretty much everywhere. I can fall asleep like literally. I can fall asleep at a car scene, car crash scene. It's like okay, well, just wake me when the police get here just go to sleep. I really could. And I probably probably would do that. But I think I figured it out. I think it's a blood pressure pill. It's making me fall asleep. So I didn't take it this morning. I'm going to take it tonight. Al, that's what I'm going to do. So Al, I need you to keep an eye on me during the show. Tell me if I look different. My blood pressure starts going up, Al. That is your responsibility for this show is to save the black cat's life. If I start looking like my blood pressure is going up, I need you to send me a signal. Send me a signal in the chat. To let me know to take it down a notch. I don't want to be having a heart yet heart attack on you guys today. I definitely Big G. What's up, Big G? Big G, I want you to work with Al on that. You two work together as a team. Black cat, white face, that's me. I survived. I literally and when I say I survived this weekend, I pretty much did. She she really did try to drown me three times. She thought it was funny. You can't breathe underwater. I was like, I fucking know I can't. Nobody can breathe underwater. I ain't got gills. What are you fucking doing to me? It's like it's funny. I was like, it's not funny. You're heavy than you should be, and, and I'm not as good a swimmer as you are, and you're pushing my head around. I, she, I hope she doesn't drown one of her friends. Literally, because if, if she does, then she's going to prison, because I've just basically ruined it. I'd have to erase this. Remind me, Big G, remind me to uh, get rid of this video. If she goes to jail, I don't tell her. Blood X! What's up, Blood X? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Blood X has a YouTube channel. I was checking it out the other day, man. Great to see you, buddy. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you're here. Bones, the skater. Bones, what's up, dude? How you doing? Bones, I think we need to feature you again. I think we need to get you back onto the Blackout show. Now, we featured you quite a while ago, and I've been watching you. I've been watching you, man. I know you've been... <laughs> I've been watching you. And I think we're just ready to have another Bones, the skater, number two coming. What do you think? Think so? Let me know. Hit me up. Dan, the motherfucking man. What's up, Dan the man? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, sir. I'm super glad you are here. Dave Flowers. What's up, Dave? How are you, sir? Great to see you, man. I'm glad you're here. Drip Coils. What's up, Heath? How you doing, man? Great to see you, brother. I am super glad you are here. Mr. Fabian. What's up, Fabian? How you doing, man? Great to see you. I am glad you are here, sir. Frank Einstein. What's up, Frankie? How you doing, man? Good to see you. I am glad you are here, Frank. Thank you for regulating the chat for me. Mr. Bull. What's up, Bull? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, man. I am super glad you are here. Grady! What's up, Grady? My favorite character from Sanford and Son. I'm glad you're here, man. Good to see you. Glad. I already said that. Glad you're here. But I am glad you're here. Times two. Jane Dodd. What's up, Jane? How you doing, hon? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Juan True Texan. What's up, dude? My dad's a Texan, Juan. My dad is a Texan. I love Texans. I love Texas music. A lot of Texas music I like. Waylon Jennings. Name my cat after him, for Christ's sakes. Steve Earle. He's from there. Cody Jenks. From Texas. Isn't he from Texas? I think Cody Jinx is from Texas, pretty sure. Like a lot of Texas music. I got my eye on you. And Divine 83, Nick, you got to go live with me tomorrow. I need you to go live with me tomorrow. We're going to have the best show ever. It's going, I have a lot of plans for tomorrow. I have no plans. I have nothing. I haven't thought, even thought about it yet. I didn't even really think about this show until I like. I actually, I, I put the, the, the stream. Nick, listen, this is behind the scenes with me, Nick. Listen, I'm going to tell you what I did. I, I put the show on and I like looked at my hands and I, I, you guys know I'm a germaphobe. Like, I'm a recovering germaphobe because I used to literally wash my hands like until I, like, wash the skin off my hands. Like, I, if I touch anything, I get creeped out and I have to wash my hands. Well, I looked at my hands, and I still have, like, a little bit of that running through my body, running through my mind because I'm fucking crazy. And I looked at my hands, and they were like, I hadn't washed them since I'd been home. And I was like, ooh, like, ooh, I need to go wash my hands. So I, like, ran upstairs, like, wash my hands real quick. Yeah, you guys didn't need to know that. That's why I did. That was behind the scenes, the black guy. Still talking in third person. Good to see you, Nick. Nick Fenton, what's up, Fenton? How you doing, brother? I'm glad you're here, man. Good to see you, brother. Glad you're here. Nick, Nick, that picture you put up, the insect picture, the, the macro you shot was fucking badass, man. You're you're really getting talented with your camera work, man. It's really impressive, dude. It's awesome to watch. Really awesome to watch. I love seeing your pictures, man. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Odin, what's up, Odin? How you doing, man? Great to see you, brother. I'm super glad you are here, my friend. Patrick King, what's up, King? How you doing, man? Great to see you, dude. I'm super happy you are here, my friend. Tame Dragon 66, what's up, dude? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, man. I'm glad you're here. You, sir, are on the list. Where are you at? You are coming up here. Tame Dragon, so we have your next week. Tame Dragon, you're next week. You're next week. I got Snappy this week, and then you, sir, 
are next week. So, yeah, 8-5. Is that 85? Yep, you're next week, brother. So I can't wait, man. Super excited to, to feature you, dude. Absolutely awesome, dude. Thank you for joining. Great to see you. Turbinetto. What's up, Turbinetto? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here. And my brother, V Dog, 55. And where's Woodtick Mike? Woodtick Mike's always here. Can't be missing him. Check here. All right, let's roll back here and see who I didn't see. Addy Tooney, how you doing? There he is, Woodtick Mike. Good to see you, man. Glad you are here. Charlie, what's up, Charlie? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Glad you are here. And Clint, I didn't see Clint. I didn't see. I didn't see you in there. How you doing, Clint? Good to see you, man. Glad you are here. All right, guys. So, um, see, so I got a couple minutes here before we start the feature. Uh, so, a couple things going on. Uh, and the vape community has been really hectic with um, with attacks lately, and it has gotten to a point where it's almost like we're just throwing counter punches constantly. And, and that's at least that's how it feels to me. And it, it just feels like so many people are coming at us with all these different mistruths, misinformation that we're constantly defending ourselves. And it's really a, an, hey, Bob Ellis, how you doing, man? Glad you like it, Bob. Awesome, man. Glad you like it. I love the M-Turk too. I love it. I still have, it's all my other top side. Um, yeah, next week, man. Next week, Dragon. So one thing I w wanted to talk to you about is... <clears throat> It's very frustrating trying to fight the fight for vaping. And, and I do feel like it's pretty much anybody, any reasonable vapor's responsibility to at least, you don't have to stand up for it. You don't have to carry the torch. But what you, what you are responsible for is to keep people going in the right direction as far as their information. And if they're misinformed about something, especially if they're a smoker, it's really, really your job to kind of say, hey, man, look, that's not true. And these cigarettes are going to kill you. And if you come over and start vaping, I can guarantee an immediate health relief, immediate health benefit to you. And I'm only looking out for your best interest. Um, at least that's my view on what really it is to be a vapor and to, and to be in this community, especially for people like us who are really into it. There was, a, uh, there was something put out by PBS. So I'm on Twitter, and I encourage all you guys to get on Twitter. I really, really do. That's really the battlefield of this whole thing. I mean, there's so much misinformation going on there, and it can be maddening. And it can be anger, angering, angering. It can be frustrating. And a lot of times you'll see something on there, and you're like, oh, my God, this is such shit. And it's coming from these anti-groups, these anti-vaping groups. And a lot of times, you know, I think there's such a disconnect from the reality of the situation versus them just wanting to win. And I think that's what we've gotten now is we've gotten in a situation where the, the antis just want to win. Like they don't care at all cost. They do not care. And you can get blinders on when you get that, you know, that the definition of blinders is when you're just focusing on winning the, the whatever collateral damage happens out of that you don't care about. You know what I mean? So you really lose the focus. And I think that we become on, a, like I said, we're kind of like in defense mode where we're constantly fighting off all these different things. PBS put out something. They put out a show called To the Contrary. And it's a, it's a PBS broadcast. It's a news show, like a 20-minute news show, sort of in the, the, the mainstay of like maybe like a, like a 2020 or a Dateline type thing. Well, they did one on vaping, and they posted it on Twitter through their, in, uh, through their PBS uh, Twitter handle. And basically it says that vaping is, is, did you know vaping is more toxic than smoking? And I could not believe it. I, I saw it today. And I actually messaged Charlie. I was like, have you seen this? Like, I can't fucking believe they said that. I was like, that is like the most, like that is the blatant lie. And the problem with that is, is there's this, there's, okay, so I'm, I'm going to talk I'm going to take, not take their side, but I'm going to explain something real quick. Is you have teens vaping, which, is it a made-up e epidemic or is it a real epidemic? I I'm not going to touch that, but I'm going to tell you this. Is there are teens vaping? Okay, at least we can all agree on that. Nobody wants anybody under 21 vaping. Nobody. No, I don't want anybody who's not a smoker vaping. I'll take it to that level, whether they're 60, 30, 20, I don't care how old they are. <clears throat> Only people who are smoking, trying to get off of smoking onto something else should be vaping, in my opinion. It is not a growth industry. It's not an industry we're trying to grow by making other people vape who've never smoked. That's my opinion. But there are teens that are vaping, and, and, and I think they have this idea that they have to demonize vaping in order to get teens to stop doing it. And by doing that, they're going to any, any measures that they can come with, when they come up with things like, Vaping is more toxic than, than smoking cigarettes. 
The only thing that you can do to that is to sensibly reply to it. And and I don't want to say like, I, I, I kind of use like a shaming format, like shame on you for saying that. Like, why would you say that? Um, I guess my point of this is, if I didn't tell you this and you weren't on Twitter, you wouldn't have saw it. Get on Twitter. If you care anything about prolonging this industry and prolonging that we're going to save people's lives who are smoking, get on Twitter and get in the battle. And don't come at these people with calling them names or, or anything like that, but do a little bit of research, find out who the people are, and then respond to them sensibly and try to get try to at least put their main objective in the forefront of the information that is being said. So they come up with some ridiculous lie like that, come at them with a little bit of information and then reply back why that is not correct. So that is my, you know, I, I, I wanted to get Matt from Suck My Mod on here this week and he can't because he's actually going out of time. And I want him to talk, he's really big on Twitter and I wanted him to come on and talk about it and um, try to get some people on there and get more active because we need all the help we can get. I mean, it's literally, it's literally a David and Goliath situation. It's not even, it's, I mean, I'm on there trying to help. And I mean, if I'm on there trying to help, then I mean, it, they really don't have that many guns coming because of, uh, you, you know what I'm saying here, guys, like I'm not the biggest advocate guy in the world by any means, but I do feel like that at least people need to get the right information. Enough about that. All right, guys. So let's get into coil building, which you guys all came here before. First, thanks everybody for being here. Snappy Builds, there he is, the man of the hour, Tower of Power. Thanks for joining, man. We're just getting into your feature. So, I've known Snappy for, I would say, a little bit. I've actually watched him building for quite a while. And the guy is just an absolute technician. He is amazing. The builds I'm going to show you today are really out of this world. The guy, And not only that, but his photography. He does a lot with the coloring of the coils and the photography and a lot of product shots and things like that. that are absolutely gorgeous. He is a member of Team Ohm Canada. And that's when he really caught my eye. I'd, I'd kind of... He was one of the people that I was watching that made me want to feature Ohm Canada. And so I just kind of prolonged into, I wanted to give him his own week. And he was gracious enough to want to support the channel and want to, you know, uh, give some stuff to you guys. So he agreed to do that. And so here we are. So without further ado, I'm going, we're going to take a look at Mr. Snappy Builds, Mr. Billy. All right, let me go over to my second monitor here, move all this around, get my chat out of the way here. All right, here we go. Snappy build. So he has got quite a large Instagram following. He's got 444 posts. Member of Ohm Canada, like I mentioned. Look at his sponsors there. He's got Kidney Puncher, Unicorn, Mass Mods, Trinity Glassware, and Vitality Mods. Unfreaking believable. Now, this uh, Vitality Mods coil team is absolutely fantastic as well, as is Ohm Canada. We feature them. You guys know all about them. 4,000 followers. Guys, if you're not following him, the link is below. Please go to that link and hit follow. All right, here we go. Let's start with a little macro alien shot. Gorgeous photo. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the wear on that, mo that wire. So that's all nichrome. Beautifully shot, man. That coil actually looks like it may have been, uh, that may have been vape for a little bit before he took that picture. Here we go, sitting in the recurve duel. That same alien build. Look at the beautiful photography there, and he adds a little bit of uh, framing to the picture there with that purple in the background. Very cool, man. I'll tell you, the level of photography just blows me away anymore. Here we go with a binary. So I can't make out everything, but you got a binary sitting next to a piece of square wire. And then staggered and fused. I believe one side of the frames looks like it's ribbon staggered and the other side's open round wire. Beautiful, man. Here you go with a, is that? Yeah, Razor Hawk. Razor Hawk sitting in, what RT, RDA is that? I'm not exactly sure what RDA that is. I'm probably missing it, I probably know it. I'm missing it. Beautiful man with a beautiful wick shot on that. Absolutely gorgeous. 
beautifully done. I love that gold color on it too. Beautiful, man. Here we go, traditional suka. Big suka, man. Sitting over, looks like, I'd guess that's at least 12 pieces of ribbon, maybe more like 15 or 16. Parabolic alien suka. I don't see the parabolic in there. Bet you there's another shot of it. I'll see it. Oh, you might not believe me, but it's in the middle there. <laughs> so he's got the parabolic sitting in the middle. That's freaking awesome. Look how consistent he stays with his turn right in the middle all the way through. That's amazing that you were able to do that all the way through, man. What I mean by the turn is that turn piece is that turned over piece where you on the suka. Beautifully done, man. Here we go. Can we see it? On there, there's the parabolic. That's a fat one, too. What is that, 0.3 or 0.4 ribbon? That's huge. Yeah, that's 0.4 ribbon. It sure is, because if you match it up against the other four pieces here, these are all 0.1 in diameter, and you can see here that it is equal to four of those. So that's 0.4 ribbon on its parabolic. That's amazing that you were able to get that build without it collapsing on each other. That's pretty freaking amazing, man. Beautiful build, Billy. Oh, these are the stuff that I love. That See, that right there to me is absolutely perfect. So you got a frame staple, then it is paralleled with a paraclapton alien. Or paraclapton clapton. Two different wires there. Given that contrasting color. It all reminds me of a coral snake. It's what I always think of when I see that. Beautiful color on that. And is that the, oh, I, I reviewed that RDA. I can't remember what is that, the KTX? Is that what that is? No. That's Twisted Mess's uh, new RDA, I believe. I don't know why I can't remember it. Probably because my brain sucks. Beautiful shot, great color. Somebody will put it in chat. That is gorgeous. <coughs> Another picture here from the front. The Akula, that's right. Okay, the Akula RDA. I said the KTX was a Ramo to use RDA. That's in the Akula. Beautiful front shot of that. Look at how, just a beautiful picture, man. Gorgeous shot. Wow. Gorgeous. Unicorn RDA, very nice RDA, four, four post holes in there. Looks like, I'm gonna guess that that's a pitchfork, that's what I'm guessing. Let's see if I get a closer shot of it. Go with the Spaced Aliens in that USA-1 RDA. Very consistent spacing on his alien there. Really, really difficult to do, especially when you wrap it. Beautifully done, sir. Absolutely gorgeous, man. I love spaced aliens, and they vape. Absolutely phenomenal. Another razor hawk. God, that looks awesome, dude. It almost looks like, almost looks like it's alive. The colors on there, absolutely fantastic. This is in the Axial RDA. That is gorgeous. Razor Hawk with a looks like a twisted ribbon alien is that what that is inside of it or am i just seeing the kind of a give me like an optical illusion on it so you have a razor hawk here and then it looks like in the gap it is a twisted ribbon alien help me out snappy help me out with what that is in the middle Let's see if i get another shot of it 
Here we go. Yeah. So twisted ribbon. So twisted. So that's a uh, alien suka in the middle, spaced. Paralleled up against that razor hawk. That is gorgeous, man. Beautiful color on that, dude. God almighty. Here's one more picture of that. I'm telling you, I mean, your photography is just phenomenal. Just absolutely phenomenal. Everything in focus. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Space Alien Suka. Okay. Oh, man. Here we go. One of my hit, one of my favorite builds are half. St I love half stags. I absolutely love them. So you got a half stag variation. He staggered and fused. Uh, looks like probably four pieces of ribbon. Inside of that, he's got two pieces of square wire, framing a binary, and it's absolutely perfect. I mean, that is as perfect as it gets. That is just that is just gorgeous. And what a technical build that is. It's so difficult to keep this this fuse here straight on the far side because there's nothing for it to grab onto. He does it all the way through. Wow, that is gorgeous, man. Here we go with it wrapped up and installed. Wow. Beautifully done. I mean, look how consistent his far side fuse is on the open round wire. I mean, it's perfect all the way down. It's absolutely perfect. Another half stag, kind of a variation. Instead of going, he went with, uh, I would assume that's... Do I see round wire in there too? Is there round wire in there too on the outside of this? Or is that just all ribbon? Changed up the wire to give you a nice different color on everything. Beautiful macro shot. The far side here, instead of using round wire, he uses two more pieces of ribbon. Which, guys, to keep that ribbon from sliding under against that round wire is, or against the uh, fuse is really difficult. He does a, just a fantastic job. Beautiful. Here we go with the pullback shot of it. Same build. I really like that build a lot. Really, really like that build a lot. Stagger and fuse is absolutely perfect. No spaces in between any of it. To keep it that tight after you've wrapped it is really a feat. That is gorgeous, man. Shot. I always like to look at the ones before we color it. Yeah, man. That is badass. Little side boob view here. Can't tell exactly what's going on, but that is really nice, man. Kind of like a mac, a super macro side boob shot. Wick shot, beautiful alien build, gorgeous man. Alien is super tight. Here we go again, this is the recurve. Or is this the recurve or the saddle horse blues? Looks so small. Asgard, sorry. Asgard RDA, I'll be reviewing that on Wednesday. I'm actually vaping it right now.
Here we go. Okay, I think this is called, um, is this called like a transistor coil? I forget exactly what this is called. It's called a trans, I, there's got a name. Juggernaut. Well, I know, yeah. I thought it, I thought a juggernaut was something different, but I thought this was actually when you clapped it, it's called a transistor or something, maybe. Juggernaut is, I think, when you don't clap in it. Very cool, man. Here we go. Seven, core alien how what gauge is that does he say nothing like a little seven core alien great macro shot here we go with the big fat look at the turn on that alien man that is phenomenal Big, fat alien. Huge turn on that alien. Look at that. Gorgeous, dude. That is absolutely gorgeous. Very clean, man. Absolutely. we go. a little close-up shot of uh, Suka with all kinds of stuff going on in there. Got... Eight pieces of ribbon framed in with two pieces of square wire. There we go. Same build. Pull away. Look at that. Sitting in the Warrior RDA. Wow, man. That is gorgeous. Beautiful color on that, dude. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the color you get is absolutely amazing. Gigantic binary. Skip fused. More of a traditional sense binary, which I really, really like. Really good spacing on it too. You don't have many any bends or anything on your fuse, which looks like you fused with 40. Is that 42 gauge? I'm gonna guess that's 42 gauge, man. It looks smaller than 40 to me. Which you did really well with your getting it big enough so that it wouldn't bow. Uh, a lot of times when you fuse a binary, your fuse will be uh, pushed up because the wire's coming up. All these are perfectly straight. Beautiful color on that ribbon. I mean, you're an ace at coloring that ribbon is amazing, man. Oh, what is this little gem? Indented. What is it? Indented. Uh, indented Staggerton. Is that what this is? Yeah. Or indented uh, stable stagger fuse clapped, and I forget how you, what you actually call it. It's beautiful though. Here we go again, little alien suka. Spaced out a little bit, sitting in the Twisted Messes Pro. I think it's 40, man, it looks smaller than 40 to me. That looks like 42 to me, but it could be. I mean, that looks tiny, that looks more like 42. Look at you, man, you, your stagger and fuses are so tight, Billy. Damn, dude, that's awesome. That alien suka. Is that an alien with square wire? Is that what that is? That's not a suka. That's a square wire quad aliens. Yeah, that's square wire you aliened with. What is that, 0.2 square wire? That is cool as hell. I tried one of those once and I couldn't get it to lay right. And I'll tell you what, that square wire really wants to collapse those cores too, man, because it is pretty damn tough to use to fuse with. Yeah, that's a square wire. I'd like to vape that. I need to make some of those. I need to make something. That's what I need to do. 
another beautiful alien. Got different colors there all the way across. Gorgeous shot, too, man. I love the lighting in that shot. The shadow plays really well. I love how you can see the one in the background here, the colors on that one as well. That is real. That's a great photo, man. That is awesome. Four core staggerfies Clapton. Great shot, man. Great wick shot. Great color on that. Yeah, it looks like a fantastic vape. Here's an overhead, got the helicopter view. Fuses are nice and straight. What's up, Matt? No, I, you know what, man? I haven't built in like, it's been months. It's been a long time. I haven't built in a long time. Here we go, square wire alien stitched with another piece of ribbon. It's a big piece of ribbon too. That is really cool, man. I'm trying to see how many, it looks like you got eight pieces of ribbon framed. So frame staple, eight pieces of ribbon, two pieces of round wire, square wire with, for your alien stitched with another piece of ribbon. That's really unique. I don't know if I've ever seen that before, but it really turned out cool. Really good looking build. Great color on that. Beautiful, man. Stitched Enigma. Over, it looks like a giant staple maybe. Here's a nice macro for you. That is awesome. Here we go. Pull away shot for you can see everything on it. That is gorgeous. Beautiful color on it. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Oh, that that is a cool photo right there. <laughs> that is cool. Let's see what it looked like before. Stitched hedgehog. Is that what that other one is too? No, that's different. Wow, look at this. Did you wrap that on your uh, on your tweezers? Is that where you got that shape from? And then broke it up like that? That is really cool and creative, man. Knuckle build. That's called the knuckle build, okay. Stitched Suka, stitched Alien Suka. That one too, man. Lord, looks like you missed it, mixed up the ribbon too. How many is that? Twelve pieces of ribbon. Holy cow! No, six and six, fourteen pieces of ribbon. Holy cow! I'm not sure what you would call it, but it almost looks like a star or star build, I guess. With a 42 gauge fuse. Let's see if you got another picture from the top. No, that's the knuckle build there. Here's that stitched suka colored up. God, that's a great picture, man. I love how you play it in the shadows, the dark behind it. That's uh, just absolutely gorgeous, man. 
Here we go before we colored it up. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Stitched Mothership Alien. Whew, man, that's gorgeous. Fuse Clapton. Sometimes simplicity is beautiful to me. That's gorgeous. What RTA is that? Fatality. I was going to say, I know I have that RTA. I'm terrible with remembering what I have. I think it's because I only use them for like three or four days or and then, t and then put them down and grab something else. I always forget. Look at the spacing on that. Holy cow. How did you get your spacing so even? I didn't even notice that when I saw it the first time. Look how even his spacing is. Did you parallel clap in that or something? And then pull one off? I mean, you almost had to to get it that perfect. Micro Clapton Suka, Alien Suka. Nice macro close up shot of that. Here we go. That's what I used for the tile today. I love this build. Beautiful color on it. Such a difficult build, man, to do with that, that big of a core. That is a really tough build to get. And just absolutely pulled it off beautifully. Mothership Alien. Over, so it looks like your cores are clapped in as well. How cool is that? Very nice. Look at this. Gorgeous Suka. Wow, man, that's a gorgeous photo. Staggered in variation. That's pretty cool, man. Great color on that. Used all kinds of different wire to get your different color. Added a couple pieces of ribbon in there. Very cool. Here we go with a close-up shot. Man, that's a great shot. Wow, that is really nice, man. That is gorgeous. Almost looks like they're, these wires are different sizes. What are I recognize this one too. Asmodus, is this the, uh, oh, is this the, uh, whatchamacallit, is this the C4? Let's see, I should know this one. If I don't recognize the C4, then I really am getting bad because I love that RDA. Rebirth RTA, RDA. Staples Tiger, if he's clapped in variation, he's got two pieces of round wire framing in. Look at the play that he does on the ribbon. Gives you a really nice separation in color on the ribbon. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Wow, beautiful stagger and fuse. That is absolutely gorgeous. Here we go again with that stitched mothership. Man, that is nice. That is a really, really nice photo. That alien, that alien suka colored up. Gorgeous. Look how fat that ribbon is too. Style wick, 
love that. That's a beautiful alien too, man. Your aliens are nice. Oh, look at this. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. The bunker. Okay, yeah, the bunker. I've reviewed that. <laughs> I sure did. Sure did review the bunker. I got another one, the blank, point blank RDA I'm going to be reviewing after. I got a couple more in front of it, though. From Asmodus. Pitchfork, corrugated pitchfork. Beautifully done. All right, let's grab one more. Wow, just look at all these different builds you guys have. Oh my God, look at this. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, this is one you can just take in. Wow. Got the stovetop install. Uh, looks like a, a pitchfork or something similar. Or is that just a stagger? I can't even tell. Gorgeous, man. Look at that, Bill. That is just gorgeous. Wow. All right. Let's take it back up top. Move my chat back over here. Woo! Bravo, sir. Fantastic work. Thank you so much, Billy, for uh, letting me feature you. It's an absolute honor, man. Your work is is amazing. Um, now, you're probably wondering, how in the world could I win coils from Snappy Builds? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's going to be pretty well. You're going to have to do some work. You're going to have to put some legwork in. So, crazy coils, 1200. You're going to have to put some legwork in. What I need you to do, let us go out and support Snappy this week. Go down to the link below. I want you to go to his page on Instagram. Grab a photo of one of these amazing builds that you love. Repost it with the hashtag BlackCatFam at SnappyBuilds. Now, for those of you who are on Instagram who are builders, and I know some of you are like, I don't want to post other people's pics because you don't want to mess up your pics or whatever. I kind of get that vibe. And I understand it. You can post it on Facebook, under your account, in the Facebook, in our Facebook page, the Cat's Eye page, anywhere. If you want to enter these, you can post them anywhere, and I will still allow you to be in. You don't have to do it just on Instagram. Now, I do want it done in Instagram, if possible, just because it promotes the builder on Instagram, which Instagram is really the place where builders are. So, But if, if you don't want to mess up your page, you want to post it somewhere else, the big thing is getting his work out to as many people as we possibly can this week to promote him and what he's doing for the craft and the beautiful builds that he does. Thank you again, sir. Absolutely, Billy, I can't wait. You're going to win coils this week. You're going to win a set on Wednesday. You're also going to win some other stuff with that. You're going to win three sets on Friday. The set on Wednesday. After this episode uploads, go to the comments. Put in a number between 1 and one. Hi, Waylon Jennings. Did, 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 can, I, can I help you, Waylon? Did you need something? Put in a number in this episode after it uploads between 1 and 150, and I will do a drawing on Wednesday. Tomorrow, Favorite 5, you got me and Nick on. Then Wednesday, I'm reviewing the Asgard. Asgard? I think it's Asgard. I always call it the Asgard. Asgard 25 Mini. So that will be after that. All right, let's roll through here and see what's going on in chat. See who all I missed. Tweak, how you doing? Josh Maine, what's up? Spring, what's up, Spring? How you doing, hon? Good to see you. Matt Gunther, I said hey to you. What's going on, brother? And eh, miss anybody else? Nick just put a number. Nick, not here. Put a number in after the video uploads. <laughs> you know how this goes. <laughs> you don't want to, yeah, you got to get the IG Street cred, Gunther. You're absolutely right. Arsgard. At Arsgard? Is that how you say it? The Arse God? Arsgard? I don't know. I'm going to say it wrong. I'm going to say it wrong. I got some really good information on this today. So I was having problems with Spitback. And um, so I brought it up in a Discord that I belong to. And I was like, hey, is anybody using the. This guy's like, yeah, I have, you know, I have three or four Asgard RDAs. And I love them. I was like, well, I like it, but I'm getting a lot of Spitback on it. And it's just, it's a little bit too much for me. I normally don't mind it. And he told me to. Um, put it to reinstall coils with a four millimeter uh, leg length and it worked like a charm. I changed them out and it worked perfectly. 
So I think that's that's the key. Buddy, you got to get down. Sorry. Med Scott, thank you, Crazy Coils. I appreciate that. My blood pressure. I got to watch my blood pressure. <laughs> no, if I dude, that that's not funny. That could happen. You could see the black cat. It'd be the longest episode either. L longest episode ever. Because I would literally be like this. And my they would just let it keep broadcasting. My wife would just be up there hanging out, talking. Scott's been down there a long time. Is he still doing his show? Yeah, probably. I'd be dead. They wouldn't even know. Asgard. Like in Thor, Scott. What the fuck is Thor? What's a Thor? Oh, the Thor. The guy with the hammer? That guy? Now, I don't watch many of those. Asgard. Asgard. Okay. Go on, Scott. I will give you this month's wages if you only refer to it as the Arse God. Okay. I can do that, Nick. It's not, I'm not above that. Especially for a month's worth of wages. You're goddamn right. Is Ascart. Ascart? Is that how you say it? Fuck, man. You guys are fucking me up right now. You know this. It is where he is from, damn it. Oh, Nick, we need to talk about this tomorrow. You need to come on the show tomorrow. We will discuss where Thor's from, I promise. That will be the top main topic of our of our conversation tomorrow when you come on the show. Yeah, the hammer man. I don't earn much, says Nick. Yeah, join the fucking club. That's right, join Nick Devine's Patreon. Fagan's got a Patreon too, it's pretty fun. Or you can join my Patreon. If you want to join my Patreon, feel free. It's five dollars to join. And I will show you full frontal nudity of myself every day. If you want to see it, I, five bucks a month. I'll, I will show you. Well, I'm going to get banned off of YouTube for saying that. I'm going to. They're going to be like, "You're selling sex." Like, don't I look like a guy who sells sex? Don't I look like that guy that sells sex on the internet? I pro. I probably do. I probably do fit that description. I don't even know it. Remember to hit the thumbs up. Goddamn right. Hit the thumbs up. I added a little subscribe and like to my front page. You guys see that? I can put it back on there if you want to see it. Here, hold on. Let's do that. I'll show you. I, I jazzed up the front. I also got my credits going again. So if you're in the Patreon, your name's going to pop up here in a minute. Let's go back to the front page. You can see it. There it is. Like and subscribe. There it is right there. You see it? Like and subscribe. That's the Go back to main. I love how it takes like a minute and a half to switch between scenes. That's one thing I really like about XSplit. Pretty cool. You were gonna play Thor in the movies? Is that why you were growing your mullet, Nick? When you were growing your mullet? Remember that? I think that was that was when you're gonna play Thor. Oh, that makes sense. I liked it. I like the mullets. Yeah, and Discord is Discord's pretty cool. If you guys aren't in Discord, you really should be. It, it I, I do send, as Matt says, I send random nudes of myself. Just be like getting in the shower, I'll be like, hey, what's up? Get in the shower. But hey, again, women love it. Women, they love to see the black cat <laughs> nude. I'm speaking to myself in third person again. As I took my shirt off when I was at the pool with my with my daughter because they have a pool with her out at the house, so I was like swimming with her, and uh, I took my shirt off, and she's like, "Wow, you got a big belly." I was like, "It's all muscle," it is, and it is hard as hell. She's like poking it. She's like, "It's really hard, Dad." I was like, "Yeah, it's all muscle. Don't 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 get it twisted. It may be big, but super strong. It's not strong. Not strong at all. It's full of like fucking spaghetti and tacos." Hell yeah, that's why the mullet. I knew it. I knew it, Nick. I knew that was. I knew there's a reason why you're growing. It's because you want to be a movie star. I don't blame you. I'd grow a fucking mullet if I could be a movie star in a minute. Be beard and man bun. No, my son had a man bun for a while. Fuck. There's nothing more to say about that. I, I tell you, I ate McDonald's like four times this weekend. I fucking love McDonald's. I do. I love it. I love it. You know, I've really been getting into it. McDonald's. Let's talk about McDonald's for a second. You know what I've been really getting into at McDonald's is the the fried chicken wraps. With ranch dressing on them. <laughs> fucking phenomenal. 
I do have dad man strength. I do have old man strength. I noticed that when I was lifting weights. I was like, back, I used to, believe it or not, I used to actually be in really good shape and strong and shit. And uh, when I was lifting weights, I got stronger as I got older. And I was like, holy shit, like the old man's, old man strength is like real. Like I was like, I was like lifting like 50 more pounds than I was before. I was like, holy shit. Thank you, Bones. I appreciate, I appreciate the, the sub. Thank you for subscribing to my, my YouTube channel. It's not easy getting to subscribers. Trust me. I'm like, I've resulted to putting up notices to subscribe. That's, that's how desperate I've become to gain subscribers. Like, I'm not, there's no shame in my game at all anymore. Like, please subscribe. Please, I beg you. Please, please subscribe to me. Please. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Clint. I forgot about that. Clint. <laughs> I said Clint at, R at RTA. A, a, um, I forget which one. It was an Asmodus, wasn't it? Asmo dog? Was the dog RTA? I think that's what it was. Might have been. Fuck, I don't know. I sent it to you, and I was like, man, you're really going to like this RTA. You're like, thanks, man. I'm really appreciate you sending it. Uh-huh. So when he got the box, he was all excited. He opened it up. The fucking RTA wasn't in there. And he messaged me during a show. He's like, dude, there's no RTA. And I look, it's fucking sitting right there. I, fucking, I was like, oops, here it is. I did get it to you, though. I did send it. I'm a man of my word. I send my shit. Oh, that reminds me. So we had a winner last week. Uh, Joe Schmo Vapes. Joe Schmo Vapes. Please contact me. You won last week on Wednesday. You got a set of coils coming and a bottle of black uh, uh, cat's whiskers. But I need to get in contact with you. I don't have any of your information. So Joe Schmo Vapes. Everyone. Everybody who's here. If you see Joe Schmo Vapes in any chat, Please tell him to contact me so I can get his prize out to him. Um, I'll mention it this week, and then after this week, I'm probably not going to mention it anymore because I'll forget. But I've got it written down here in front of me. So I'll mention it again tomorrow and then hopefully on Wednesday and then Friday. But Joe Schmo Vapes, contact me for your winnings from Wednesday last week. Because it's just going to sit here until I send it, and it's yours. All right, 6 o'clock, guys. Well, hey, it has been an absolutely fantastic... I, I tell you what, I really appreciate you guys for sitting around and watching. I know that uh, Suck My Mod is on right now, and probably 90% of you would rather be watching him. But you know what? You stuck around and watched me, and I really appreciate that. And, and you know what? The Black Cat... I'm still going to continue to talk in third person. The Black Cat really appreciates that. He does. I got a special exit for you guys. Look, tonight on the YouTubes, you got some fantastic shows. You got Vaping with the Um, he's on 8 o'clock at... 9 o'clock, you have Mountaineer Vapes with uh, Phoenix Vapor. You got that on at 9 o'clock. Um, and then I don't know what's on at 10 o'clock, but if you do, put it in the, put it in the uh, live chat here, and I'll meet you guys there tonight. See you guys later. Have a fantastic night. Tomorrow, it's a coil building show with me and Nick, where we don't talk about coil building at all. We really don't talk about coil building. We'll probably talk about, like, movies and shit. That might be what we talk about tomorrow. Movies. Does that sound good? You like that Tommy Vapor? What's up, Tommy? Like that Tommy Vapor? Shadow Link Vapor? What's up, man? I have to unsub to sub. Don't don't do that. Don't unsub. Don't mess up my stats, please. I'm my channel's trying to help. Try to help me out here. See you guys.